So I was born and raised in a little town called Funnabelle Park. Okay. A great place to grow up. I uh, hit the big three O this, this year. So oh, whoa, no, whoa, 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 hey, well done. Thank you, thank you. And three has never looked this beautiful. Uh, oh, thank you. you know? <laughs> and it's a lot of fun. I'm sure. So I work here at the university on Hatfield campus as a postdoc. So as a postdoc, I'm a full-time researcher. And um, my journey has been undergrad here at Sax, um, mm -hmm. studying biotechnology and then specializing in biochemistry. Um, in my postgrad, and specifically as a biochemist, I look at the chemicals inside of living things, and I'm okay. particularly interested in like the proteins and the genes inside of the malaria parasites. Okay. And I study that, and it's been an eight-year journey now of eight research, years. and there hasn't been one week, Timmy, where I haven't been surprised or won up by this parasite. It's why malaria. I was actually initially, it's I must say, it's because of my older brother Jeff. Um, okay. He did his postgrad while I was studying undergrad, okay. and um, he would take me with to the labs on Saturdays, and while he had to feed the parasite. And I remember the first time looking through that microscope and seeing the malaria parasites, and I was captured. I couldn't believe that something so small and beautiful could cause death and You're the only one like who that. thinks mosquitoes and the parasites <laughs> are beautiful. Like, <laughs> I do really not are. think. Really? Yeah. But Tim, I think more than that, what's, what has kept me in this research so long is malaria is a disease that kills children. Yeah. If you look at the majority of deaths last year, 70% of them were mm -hmm. kids under the age of five. Yes. And their immune systems just, they can't handle that kind of infection. No, they can't. I mean, they're still growing. Exactly. Under still the age of five. Immune the immune, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we have to do something to protect them. Exactly. Birth. So yeah. with even the ones that do survive, they can spend up to 50% of their academic year out of school. And True. You know, as a, like if we consider 90% of the deaths in, of, of malaria occur mm -hmm. in Africa, like I feel called as an African to show up and to yeah. stick it out and to find something that works and that lasts. Thank you so much for showing hey. up. Well, Timmy, I specifically look at drug discovery. So I look at drugs that, there's two main types of malaria parasites, the one that's in the human and the one that's in the mosquito. Um, the one in the human is the one that causes the disease and okay. the one in the mosquito is the one that spreads. So okay. I look for drugs that target both of those. Right. And if I'm having a great day in the lab, I'll find one drug that can do both. Okay. Yeah. So one of the concerns for us as malariologists is that um, there's a spreading drug resistance. So the parasite that causes malaria has found a way to overcome a drug. And yes. One of the reasons is because a lot of the drugs that we have created in the past have single targets. So they're predictable, so we know how they work, which is great, mm -hmm. but they're also predictable to the parasite. So, so now they're smart, the parasite is smart. It's very smart, so it adapts to that one target and then the drug is no longer effective. Mm -hmm. So the strategy that I'm looking at now in drug development is a multi-target. Okay. So we have one drug that has multiple targets. Try and divide the attention of the parasite instead uh -huh. of just poking it in one place. We, we hit it from four sides so that it can't easily adapt to all four, all four at once. Them. So I'm Sher Awanda, a PhD student, final year at the University of Pretoria. Originally, I'm from Kenya. So I was born actually on the shores of Lake Victoria, one of the areas with the highest malaria incidences in Africa. Okay. So growing up in Western Kenya, where we, we have a lot of malaria, and uh, I saw the devastating impacts of malaria. Then again, we have a lot of research activities on malaria in Kenya. Yes. from the CDC and the London School and Kenya Medical Research and Institute. And you know, Kenya is in the forefront of this, you know, fight, yeah. So working together with these people and watching them do this stuff actually inspired me to go into malaria research and make a positive contribution towards malaria elimination. Well, That's the goal that we're working towards. Too. Okay, well. so, um, Just to explain what I do, I think I'll explain the problem. Okay. Then I'll, I'll explain our so, approach to... Yeah. Uh, solving the problem. So your research problem? Yes. So, so the problem is that uh, Limpopo province, uh, especially Vembe district, has a lot of malaria burden in South Africa. Actually, it's responsible for about 60% of the malaria burden in South Africa. 60% from Limpopo. Just that small province? Yes, 60%. Um, that small district in the yes. province? So the malaria control have been doing efforts using indoor residual springs, spring houses before the rainy seasons, and also giving medication, and also treating people on time and testing. However, these cases have not gone down. Actually, they have been increasing. Mm -hmm. So my solution is to try to find out, to find out what are the reasons from the parasite biology point of view. So I'm trying to understand are these parasites different, and what is it about them that makes them not be uh, affected by the control strategies that they are put. Okay. 
So what I do is I go to the field, I sample people, I look, I, we take blood, par, uh, blood samples from individuals okay. uh, in the communities who don't have malaria. Perhaps they have a parasites, but we don't know that they have them. So these parasites are asymptomatic. So mm -hmm. these are people who have the parasites, but they don't show symptoms. symptoms yes. yes, so I look at those people in the community. I also go to the farms to look at the immigrant farm workers, just to check whether people coming in to work are in the farm. Are yeah. they bringing parasites or not? Then finally, I also go to clinics and look at people who are sick who come to the hospital. So I just want to compare the parasites uh, that are affecting people who come to the hospitals and the parasites and people who stay back at home and people in the farms. Are mm -hmm. they different or are they the same? Okay. So that's my approach towards finding the solution to the problem. Uh, so my parting shots on uh, the goal towards elimination for South Africa is that uh, we'll need all hands on deck. Mm -hmm. We just need everyone. We need biochemists, we need epidemiologists, we need public health specialists, we need radio DJs, we need <laughs> everyone. Yeah, to raise play awareness. Yeah. A big part towards the goal of malaria elimination. Yeah. We need to let people know in the community that when they're infected, if they have fever, they need to go to the clinic to be tested and treated first so that they don't uh, 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 transmit malaria to the next person. Mm -hmm. uh, the people in the lab need to find more effective drugs, need to find more, uh, more interventions that can target the parasites that we are not getting to now. Okay. And I believe we are on the right path. Uh, the parasite is actually very clever, and, uh, but you're also clever yeah. than the parasite. So yeah. we always need to think ahead of the parasites. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think we are on the right path. And I will also encourage a lot of young people in different fields, not only biochemistry, even it could be engineering, other it could fields, be arts, engineering, whatever, yeah. everyone to join in the malaria fights through different ways, through public health, through communication, yes. through other means, music, drama, mm -hmm. uh, infrastructure, I mean, uh, GIS, uh, telephone, remote sensing, uh, remote yes. sensing I mean, uh, combining a multidisciplinary approach to, yes. towards malaria elimination.